first of all, I'm James Valor and I'm going to be talking about uh, web-based audience response systems. So, I'm a second year teacher at McKillop College. I was trained at La Trobe and I dabble a little bit in tweeting, blogging and a little bit of running. Um, so, what are, for those that don't know, audience response systems, what are they? Basically, they allow you as the teacher to post a question or a topic to your group of students and they can all feed in responses to that question or topic. Now, traditionally they did require dedicated remotes and device, uh, transmitters and software to do that, but now with the advent of the internet, there are now web-based systems that allow us to do that. So, how they work is generally you as the teacher set up an account with one of these uh, companies that do it, so I'm going to be showing you two uh, examples of that, Poll Everywhere and Socrative, um, and they both work on the premise that you as the teacher set up either a question or a group of questions that you are going to ask your students and then um, you present it to the kids and they answer the questions as they appear on the screen and the results are basically live. So the benefits or the benefits I find of uh, using these audience response systems are that generally engages the kids in uh, more so than a traditional quiz would normally do so. Um, it's it's easier for you as the teacher because it allows automatic correction, okay, depending on the package and which uh, piece of software that you use. Uh, what else have we got? We've got instant feedback for the kids. Uh, it is, most of them are cross-platform uh, cross compatible. Um, that's a bit of a mouthful. So they work on Android, PC, uh, Windows, Mac, anything you've got. Um, and they can also inform our practice, okay, and Socrative does that quite well. Now, as I said, Poll Everywhere and Socrative are two examples of these web-based systems that you can use. A more traditional uh, method is through the keypad interactive system. Some of your schools might use those, and they are actually the old system of dedicated remotes and uh, receivers. Now, I'm going to give you a very quick demonstration of Poll Everywhere and Socrative. So, just bear with me. I don't mean to show my back to you guys, but... Uh, Okay, so we're going to start off with Poll Everywhere, um, and, and it's probably better if I go this way. Um, basically, as you can see, I've got a set of questions already set up. Now, I'm going to work on this with you guys today. So, uh, to basically create a question, you simply go to Create Poll, okay, uh, and we'll say, we'll actually go with the example, what is your favourite colour? Okay, and we'll leave it open-ended, we'll create. Now, it'll open up this dialogue here. What I want you guys to do is I want you to go to that URL, please. I want you to go to www.polev.com forward slash Mr. Valor on your devices if possible. Responses start coming in, uh, they'll start appearing on the screen. I had a pie, and now I have another question. Okay. Oh, now I have this question. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so basically, they'll start popping up. Okay, and if you've got a class of 30 students, or 25 students, or however many you've got, the responses will just keep coming up and coming up and coming up. Now... That's an example of an open-ended question. If I go to multiple choice question, 
let's say here group E for each of the arrays. I'll load it and I'll push it out. Now when you push out your polls, it'll automatically update your page on your on the students' devices. Okay, so it'll it'll ask who won the grand final in ninety nine, so I'm not sure how many of you will know that one. Okay, so again, being that we've got a smaller group of people here, it's not going to look as flashy as it might with a class of, of 25 or 30, but I've worked on this with year nines and they go ballistic over it. Um, so um, the actual answer is North Melbourne. Um, now, you can get reports based on um, your polls. With poll everywhere, the reports are a bit different. You can't uh, you simply go to summary table and it will give you a very brief summary. But with poll everywhere, it doesn't actually tell you which students answered which questions. Okay? Socrative is a little better in that, where it does actually generate reports. So there are a range of question question types that you can answer, and you can actually set up large groups of quizzes. Okay? So with the single question activities, they're simply, yep, uh, with the single question activities, they're simply, you ask the question orally and a range of options come up for the students, okay, A, B, C or D, and then you get the report at the end of a basic tally of, of how, it, uh, how they've responded, similar to the um, Poll Everywhere results. Now, if we go to, okay, so you manage your quizzes via the Manage Quiz tab, okay, now they basically connect. Now we'll go with an exit ticket as an example. Now an exit ticket is a way that you can um, that's how you edit it, sorry. Let me go back. Going to start the quiz. Exit ticket. And I'll go with a student paced quiz. So with Socrative you can choose how the kids move through the um, quiz. So you can direct the pace, so you advance the questions, or the kids can go through it at their own pace. So um, if you guys go to Socrative.com, and select the student login option, I'm hoping it will automatically come up to where it asks you for a room number. Yeah, if it asks you for a room number, 198393, please. So hopefully that'll come up with... Yep. So you go student login? Yeah, student yep. login, and then the number. So with the exit tickets, if you want to see how the kids have gone during a particular lesson, run an exit ticket and it'll basically ask them what, how they've found the lesson and um, how, they've, how they've actually judged their own learning in that particular lesson and what they've learned. Okay, so it does actually inform our practice quite well. With Socrative, once you end the activity, um, it will let you download a report in a CSV or Excel format. Um, with the multiple choice questions, it also does let you, it does automatically do the correcting. Now, just a warning with these open-ended responses, if you decide that for whatever reason you want to show live results, okay, names will come up. Be very careful as to what your kids type their names in because I had a case of a, a Year 12 <laughs> student this week and after a number of weeks of using a program like this, decided that as a, as a last little kick for his last class, he did type in a sexually explicit name. So. You've got to make sure you have that discussion with your kids about responsible um, use of these sorts of things because it needs to be in an appropriate context and they need to use appropriate names and, and behaviours. So, um, I think I've run out of time now, so thank you. Um, I would have liked to have gone through it a bit more, but I can't because that's a seven minute limit. So, thank you.